It has now been almost 24 hours since I initially implanted the RFID chip slash NFC chip, I guess it does both. Uh, anyway, the X10T into my hand. Um, everything seems to be going okay. It's a little bit swollen, a little bit tender, and um, as you can see, the, the red lines are still remnants of where I marked my bones last night when I was doing the injection. Um, but you can see there's a fairly small hole. It's not really, it's not really that swollen. You know, it's surprisingly fine. Um, <clears throat> my only concern is I can feel it through the skin. Uh, I'm told that you usually can't, but um, some people can. So I'm not too worried. I'm pretty sure I placed it properly. It feels like it's proper. Um, so yeah, it seems to be healing fine. And I have uh, programmed my phone slightly to react to it, as you'll be able to see. So um I am going to eventually program it to unlock uh, when I put my chip near it, but uh, I've read that <clears throat> NFC chip is uh, chip reading in the phone is disabled by default if it's in sleep mode, so I have to manually do a thing that I haven't done yet. But just to show you an example, I did program it in so that if I just... This is an awkward angle. If I run my chip, oh, it doesn't, it's not it's meant to turn off. Okay, if I run my chip, I'm still trying to get used to where the thing is. Hmm. Oh, there we go. It launches uh, Twitter now, because that was the easiest thing I could do. Yeah, so I guess my NFC is closer to the bottom, and I keep fucking that up. Um, but yeah, so it works. I can read and write to it, and that's pretty cool. Right now I have it set up so that if I do it on, on my phone, it will do a certain thing. Um, I've also got it so that there's a text file attached to it with a Steam code in it. So if you see me around... Uh, basically, we can high-five and you'll get a free game of some kind. You might already have it, I don't know. But, yeah, so it's uh, working well. It's really weird to be like, hey, excuse me, I need to go program my hand for a second. But I really like it. And, um, yeah, I love that it's on the same hand as Magnet Finger. Uh, I'll probably be putting out a call for if you have any questions. Um, I'll answer them as much as possible. A lot of people have been asking if it will react to my magnetic implant because my magnet is here and my chip is here. Um, but actually it doesn't because that's not how NFCs work. The only magnetic thing that they do is uh, they do charge themselves, just the tags, through magnetic induction, which basically means that when you get the reader close to it, it just like powers itself by stealing a little bit of power. Um, but other than that, <clears throat> it's not really an issue. Uh, they actually make NFC uh, tag magnets. So um, like fridge ma magnets, so it's really not a concern. Uh, I also asked the manufacturer of the chip, too, and they said it's absolutely fine. So in case you were wondering about that, uh, it totally works. And I'm looking forward to developing an app or two that uh, specifically works with these and make games for cyborgs. So, yeah, uh, everything's really cool. I'm really happy with it. And um, I'll be posting updates if anything new happens. Um, yeah. So hopefully the video of uh, me jamming it in my hand doesn't gross you out. I'm going to put that on now uh, in case you are squeamish. Now would be the time to stop the video and back off. So yeah, um, I will probably be writing a big thing with this. So go read it.